Now, Cardiff Singer has all, lots of events happening all across the city, and Josie Darby's been out and about soaking up the atmosphere. The main prize is the backbone of this competition, but did you know that this year there's a whole programme of fringe events scheduled throughout the city and running alongside the main competition? The Fringe is largely the brainchild of Dame Kiri Takanua. There's talks, there's masterclasses. We did the Kate and Kiri interview the other night, which started it all off. What was the first song you can remember singing? Daisy Daisy. <laughs> I thought this is quite a good idea to break down the barriers. There's a lot of things to go to, helping the audience enjoy more, and I, it's very exciting. And Cardiff Singer audiences are impressed by the introduction of the Fringe. It's great that attached to the actual competitions, the song competition and the opera competition, there are extra events while you're here in Cardiff. We're looking forward to things later on in the week. I'm loving it. I'm loving the whole atmosphere here. Audiences have been enjoying the song prize recitals at the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama, and there's been a series of pre-show talks to help them get the most out of the music. A completely new element of the Fringe has been staged here at Chapter Arts Centre, featuring a mini-season of famous opera films. Radio 3 is bringing a whole bunch of its regular programmes to Cardiff. Look at what I found outside. And competitors have been taking the joy of singing to the youngest of Cardiff's population, bringing their talents and enthusiasm to the pupils at four of the city's schools. Saturday is full of masterclasses like David Powdeny uh, giving a talk, Dennis O'Neill obviously giving a masterclass. Uh, I will be helping out, hopefully giving them some insight into things, but there's all sorts of things going on. What's your ambition for the festival moving forward? So the festival to grow, so in two years time someone will say, right, what's happening next time? What's uh -huh. happening next time? Hi Josie. Well, the city has certainly felt very vibrant all week, but there's plenty of more things that people can get involved in, aren't they, in the next yeah. couple of days? Absolutely, Tim. It's a real celebration of classical singing. People get up their whole week to come here, and there's plenty for them to do. There's directing masterclasses with David Putney. I mean, stuff you really, really couldn't pay for, although you'd have to pay a little bit, I think. <laughs> and, uh, and it's a real sneak behind the scenes. It's a real, it, they're sharing their insight into the world of opera with people, and I think they really appreciate it. It's amazing when you see people opera royalty in, in town, yeah. particularly my heroine, Kiri Takanoa, who's stepped down from the jury in yeah. order to, to take her role as patron very seriously, hasn't yeah. she? Something she's very passionate about is nurturing and developing young talent. She understands that she's a real resource in and of herself. If she's on the jury, she has to keep a distance from them. But if she steps aside, as she chose to do this year, she can really help them. That's what she wants. She loves opera. She loves young singers. She cares about them. And she wants to be able to help them all the way. I saw her in rehearsals. I'm sure we all yes, did. Yes. And she's got the score out and she's following. Yeah. She really is giving them as much support as she I mean, can. That in itself is amazing. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Singers, isn't it? Thanks, Josie. We'll Thank see you, you again tomorrow night.